Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to my Saxonia playthrough where we are currently dealing with the revolt who lost some of my territory, like traitors they are. Um, right now we are unfortunately in retreat back to our homeland. Um, and yeah, trying to batter their force, which has got through to me, and... Uh, reclaim the territory you've lost. Um, so people have pointed out their capital is over here, and I should be going and capping that. I don't think capping it actually wins the war, but it probably gives me a lot more war score, so... Once we've built up some manpower a bit, it's probably something we're going to look at. Get out of there, guys! Get out of there, guys! Um... Right, mercs can be disbanded for now. No, I'm not disbanding the mercs because the mercs don't cost me manpower and I am currently in trouble. Honestly, I think I'm in a massive stalemate here. I don't think I I think I can stop them ever getting across. But I don't think there's much more I can do. Um I mean it was fun pushing the civil war, but maybe I underestimated it and they are slowly building a bigger and bigger and bigger navy, which worries me. Um Let's let them start recapping. There's the Navy. Catch it, catch it, catch it. Oh, God. It's not even an equal fight. If I lose this. Seriously? Don't quite get why I was defeated. That's it. I'm done. Why am I losing so goddamn badly? I mean, they I, they should be the same tech as me, yeah. I honestly do not get why I'm losing battles at sea so badly. That's it, I have no navy, I am done. There is basically no way I can stop them invading me now. And the second they invade, it's over. Am I, this is getting bad. We need you here to support. We're going to get everybody together and then hit them. Oh, God damn it, they've thrown a stack together. You are going to go hunt them down. No, they're also going to be landing in other positions to, to flank me. They're probably going to open a flank in Ireland. That's where I would go to capture all of that. How have they not dropping anything yet?
Right, while we're here, throw everything there. Oh, God damn it! Stop, stop, stop! Seriously, I... I hate the way they can do that to just get away. They're going to be going there. Or not. Ah, oh, yeah, they've opened up a front in Ireland. In, I can in there. I don't care that you're disloyal. Stack wipe him. Whatever. Want to get the city back and you're going to push that way to pick them up. They're going to be going there. <sighs> you're going to push into Ireland to try and deal with them. You can have some holdings. So we, we've... Well, we've not completely fended off. We fended off the initial invasion, but... That's a for now. <sighs> I don't think there's any real coming back from this, guys. Um... If I'm brutally honest, I think I'm done. I might just try one gasp to try and capture the capital and see what see if that does anything and sack it and burn it to the ground, but that's smeg it. Bring everything to the coast here. We're doing a do a do or die moment, guys. Uh, we are running out of money, so yeah, I might not even have time to do this. I'm gonna have to burn you off to get my income positive. God! 
No, and they've caught my navy before I can do anything. Wow, yeah. And my mercs just took parts of my kingdom. I'm done. We are quite literally done. I killed myself by forcing a revolution, forcing this. And the silly thing is, there were really easy ways of dealing with it better. If I'd like removed all the leaders from armies and things, I'd have kept all my armies. Which is a bit of a cheese, but... Okay guys, wish me luck. Cause I'm gonna need it. I mean, at least these guys provide a buffer state. Ooh, I'm technically winning somehow. I mean, I guess if I hold long enough of them to all die, I will win, but... <laughs> oh, there's their fleet. And I'm not actually powerful enough to siege there out yet, but if my fleet can stay out of the way and get more troops here. So potentially do a quick landing further down the coast and march up. I will probably lose my fleet in this action. It's whether or not I can get my troops ashore before I lose my fleet. Go, go, go! Back to shore. Back, back home now. Go, go! No, okay, Google, I'm not trying to talk to you when I'm saying go, go. And now it thinks I'm trying to talk to it again because I said its name. <laughs> oh, yes, siege ability. I mean, the game is nearly over at this point, so... <laughs> it's not the end of the world if I don't win! Oh my god! Our Saxonian Revolt is fighting down here, so... I might have got lucky. No, it's only a small war they're fighting, but... Can't believe they l lost all of my lovely territories to Rome. Yeah, they seem to be better at sorting the religion than me, however. I'm going to speed five it for a bit just to see what happens if we cap here. It is a do or die moment. I don't think this will help, but it might give us the freedom, you know, it might give us the boost we need for, to cause them to surrender. Uh, yep. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care about any of that. I just care about capping here at the moment. Mm. 
And we'll push down to the Rhine. Is that the Rhine? Yes. Oh, the Albus. That's the Rhine. Yep, go for it. Go nuts, guys! Oh no, I've been insulted. Who cares? Yeah, you see, that made no difference. But it does give me some territory. Uh, though I'm losing just as much territory in more important places. I don't care. I've got scorned families because my family's half. Oh, and they're at war with Rome again. God damn them! We are going to try and manoeuvre down to try and find the leaders and help Rome defeat them. Oh joy, I am now being invaded from there. It is definitely over guys. The once great Saxon Empire is fallen, is falling. Uh, Rome is going to batter them even though there's some initial victories there that's from my old fortification line um, there's no way they can deal with multiple wars my best bet here is to try and find and take out their leaders and yeah wow I should have tried to defend the homeland. I, I thought taking the capital wouldn't work, but somebody did suggest it, so I thought I'd give at least give it a go. Try and assassinate their leader. Stab him. Well, it failed. Let's try again. I'm basically bankrupting my nation to try and deal with them. I mean, I might have won by holding back because I'd have been pushed back into Britannia, but... Oh. Assassinate everyone.
Aww. I think, guys, it's time to accept defeat here. So, yeah. Um, basically, I, I should not have... Um... Let us give everything to these guys. To uh, do as much damage to the Saxon, Saxon Revolt as possible. Can't be over a hundred. I have a plan to deal with that. some territory. Wah. I'm declaring war on Rome. And then I'm giving them everything. Oh, I can't quite. As soon as I can. And now let stability lost myself by doing it again. Because who cares about stability loss when I'm dead? Basically, I'm a... Uh... Oh, I should have just asked if I could become a vassal, shouldn't I? There we go, Saxonian Revolt. So they are now Saxonia. But let's see how they deal with the mighty Rome who now control... Basically, I've split their land. They don't control much of, you know, large swathes of their actual money-generating territory. This coast is basically their remaining money generator um, at this point. So we'll see how Rome does. Um, though they do appear to be making some inroads. Uh, we'll have a watch of this for a while. But basically, I effectively ceded... I should have actually just um, seen if I could let Rome vassalize me at that point. And when I was just a little nation here. Because by the time we got this big, I'd have been big, big enough to, you know, if Rome would have helped me throw them off, I'd have been powerful enough afterwards to throw Rome back off. But, yeah. Uh, we just effectively made Rome vastly more powerful, to spite the rebellion. <laughs> Who are definitely, definitely losing here. Um... These Roman colonies will be quite hard for Rome to maintain. That said, note she has river access up through, so just through some of my previous cities, the rebellion already lost to her. Rome is wow. 
Yeah, the Rebellion's basically got very little left, actually, manpower-wise, so... Hindsight may have actually been able to deal with them, because they basically had nothing left. There we go. And Rome just took another massive chunk out of them. Uh, not that big a chunk, but chunk there. And just nob nibbled away, and she's going to keep doing that, because they are weakened now, and these guys will batter them next. And they're just too weak. They Basically, because of that rebellion, it weakened us to the point where... Weakened Saxonia to the point where all these big powers around us... I'm surprised these guys haven't hit us yet. But all the big powers around us could just start taking chunks. Um. Anyway, guys, that is it for this playthrough. Thank you for watching. Um, I'm going to leave Imperator Rome for a little bit because I'm doing some EU4 at the moment. I will be coming back to this with the new update. Let me know who you'd like to play. It does look like we're getting some very interesting new mechanics with all the different cultures um, involved. So I'm considering playing the Antigonids or Phrygia or Persia or one of the uh, one of the Diadochies or di however I say that. Um, who will have lots of cultures in them, because then I can really play the game with the cultures, uh, with all the different cultures. I mean, I could do Carthage with Carthage, but I've, cultures, but I've done Carthage before. But, you know, somebody around here, maybe even the Antigonids. So, but let me know what you think and who you would like me to play. As always, guys, thank you for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed this.